For the next couple of weeks, I'm going to take you into a trip to see my favorite city, Copenhagen. And to start with, we're going to discuss today the best ways to go around the city. I hope you like it. Hi, I'm Judy. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every week. So if you're visiting my city, it's very likely that you will come here by plane and you will arrive into Copenhagen Airport. When you arrive to Copenhagen Airport, you will have to make a couple of choices on the type of transportation that you want to use for your visit. If you intend to go into the city in Copenhagen, there's pretty much four choices. You can take a taxi, and I'm pretty sure you know how to take a taxi, so I'm not going to explain that to you. You can go by metro, you can go by bus, or you can go by train. The normal is to go by metro or train, and we're going to see the different type of tickets that you can purchase when you are doing just that thing. Directly into Copenhagen Airport, you can find a train station. In that train station, there is an information office, and in that information office, you can get this. This is a guide of all of the transport in Copenhagen. It will explain in English every single thing that you need to know when you're purchasing your tickets. And it's absolutely free. You can get this together with a map of the city. In this section over here, explains everything you need to know about every type of tickets. There are different types of tickets. First, we have the individual ticket, and that is the ticket that you buy from going from A to B. The thing in Copenhagen is that it works in zones. What do I mean by that? You will purchase a minimum of two zones, depending on where you're going. And within those areas, you are able to use any type of public transportation. Meaning, if I need to take the metro and then the bus, I wouldn't have to pay extra as long as I am in my time area. For example, if I'm going to the airport that is zone 4, to the city center that is zone 1, I will require to travel through zone 4, 3 and 1. And that will be 3 zones. Those 3 zones, it will be 1 hour and a half that I'm allowed to take any type of public transport, bus, train or metro, that I need to get to my destination. Apart from that, we have what is called the flexi cards. Let me show you one. Seven day ticket, flexi card, it will allow you to travel in your chosen zones for that amount of time. And then we have the 24 hour pass. The 24 hour pass is as something very interesting because it allows you to travel within all the areas of Copenhagen for 24 hours. And that is fantastic if you are planning to see something outside the city. And I'm talking Helsingor or maybe Balbu, maybe Hamlebeck, going to see the fantastic Luciana. So that is the pass that it will help you to go around Copenhagen for 24 hours. We also have the Copenhagen card. The Copenhagen card is very famous because it allows you to travel and also to go for free to different attractions. I will put a link below so you know what attractions are included and which discounts that you can find. In addition to that, most Copenhagers will walk around with their mobile phones and they will have this app on their phones. This app is the one that we use to buy zones for ourselves. It is very handy if you have an international connection, but if not, it will be more expensive than you think because you need to be connected to the internet in order for the phone to tell where you are or what you're doing. So, although it's a great idea, and I'm gonna also link it below, it might not be the right one if you're visiting the city. The final option, if you're staying for a month or more, 
is what we call the period code. You can buy it physically or you can also have it on your phone like I do. And it allows you to travel around the city for a month in the areas that you have decided. So this is the basic transportation here in Copenhagen. Let me know if there is anything else you would like to know or find out and I'll be happy to reply to you. You know how this goes. Like this video if you like it. Leave a comment below, share it with your friends or anyone that is coming to my city and subscribe if you haven't already. And if not, I shall see you later. Bye bye!